Hello? 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 Why can't I move? I'm moving, but you have to, you have to come in. Hey, welcome back! This is the Amichak, and today we got uh, Burning Paris, Suicidal, Gunslinger. I got my, I got a big old bu I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm sorry. I, uh... I've been reading a, uh, a manhwa today. However it's pronounced, it's a Korean webtoon. By the name of, uh... Uh, The Descent of the Demonic... Emperor or something like that? I can't remember, I'll, I'll check it here real quick. So it's, it's, it's the most crucial information. The Descent to the Demonic Master. It's a uh, Korean webtoon. Um, it's about... Uh, so there, there's this genre of... Uh, of like... Almost isekai kind of... Um, kind of stuff. Except... Um, not. So... The, uh, the person will... Like the, 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 the origin story as it were, that they kind of go over in the first, you know, chapter or whatever, um, is, uh, is that they were living in the real world and then died in an accident or something. Um, typically they died of old age or, um, because of an accident in, uh, like when they, when they, they, what they typically they die when they're old, uh, and their life sucks. Um, and then they go to a, uh, another world, where they decide that they're not going to just sit around and let people use them. They're going to be the badasses. Uh, and they do that. They accomplish that. Uh, generally speaking, they end up... Um, and these aren't spoilers. This is just like chapter one material. Like, this is how we got to the first stage, you know? Um, typically, they get betrayed by friends or family in the other world because they're too strong or they have too much power or, or whatever, right? Um... And then when they die, they return to the uh, the real world, and uh, they they keep all that knowledge of the uh, the martial arts and um, whatever abilities and stuff that they might have learned, and um, so then they start to uh, to begin to dominate in the uh, in the real world, and um, yeah, it's it's like a, sort of like a weird isekai branch where uh, where they kind of do it in the real world except not really typically there is a, a sort of like underbelly of, of martial artists in the in the world who are kind of like running everything from behind the scenes uh, and the main character will kind of get involved in all of this and uh, and begin to, to see the world and be like wow so this was all happening my god just immediate destruction holy crap um you know, the main character will get involved with all this and um, see how it all goes and yada yada yada, right? Um, I've read a few of them and the way it typically goes is, uh, is the main character just ends up dominating from the start, right? Like they come back, they have like a, you know, like maybe a, a year time skip or something where they're building their you know, chi and refining their body and, you know, whatever kind of stuff they have to do, building the foundation, yada, yada, whatever, like, you know, whatever. And uh, then they're just like literal gods and they just destroy everything in the, in the world. And they dominate uh, everybody and everything. And uh, all of their, like, friends and family kind of get left to the wayside and they get new friends and new family. And then they get like another power spike and then their friends and family get left behind and then they get new friends and new family and it just kind of keeps repeating this cycle over and over again. And I enjoy it. I like it. But, um... Um... It's not really... Good. You know what I mean? It's like, um... You're allowed to like McDonald's hamburgers. You're not allowed to really say that it's like a objectively good hamburger. You know, it's not made with good ingredients. It's not made by a skilled chef. It isn't a, a unique experience. Like, there's nothing that's necessarily good about it. But you're allowed to enjoy it. It's allowed to be an experience that uh, that you take part in and and uh, enjoy. Of course, there's there's nothing wrong with that. But to say that a McDonald's hamburger is like 
good and, and put it on the same level as, as as a restaurant which has actually like you know built up and and, and uses higher quality ingredients and um more refined cooking techniques and uh fresher ingredients and you know all this kind of stuff like it's just it's just a, it's kind of a disingenuous you know but it's still enjoyable and that's kind of where this kind of stuff lies for me right is it's not i i can't i can't i can't feel good about like saying that it's good and and kind of like ranking it uh next to, to some of the other uh media properties that that i feel like are actually genuinely good um but you know it's it's a mcdonald's hamburger you it's, it's it's still enjoyable right like most people you put a mcdonald's hamburger in front of them and they're gonna be like well it's you know it's okay you know, they're not going to be like, Ew, this is the most disgusting thing in the world. I can't eat this even if you force Like, no, they're going to be like, eh, it's, it's food, I guess. <laughs> Some people might really like it. Other people might really not like it. But, like, ultimately, it's, you know, it's food, right? Like, it's there. Um, that's kind of how I feel with, the, with this sort of, like, returner um, kind of genre. Is, uh, it's just, it's good. You know, it's, it's 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 a media property that is uh, acceptable. Oh my God, are we gonna die again? Please. Thank you. Uh, it's it's fine. You know. Is is it stellar? Is it like uh, the best genre in the world? I think that there are definitely some that uh, that fall into being actual like good works of art uh, that are actually like enjoyable and like actually genuinely good that stand out from the crowd as as being different and oh my god I think there are definitely one and this one is actually in my opinion one that does stand out from the crowd because it doesn't follow that stereotypical path of being just you know MC comes back from the other world and destroys everything like he, he comes back and he faces there are troubles that he has to face and he has trouble facing them and he has like these moral dilemmas of like you know i want to continue to live a normal life and i want to be a normal person but like all this stuff keeps happening because he keeps on trying to protect people and then it gets like unveiled that he's like powerful and other people try to like attack him and use him and all this kind of stuff and he's like i just want to live a normal life and um you know all this kind of stuff and, and they kind of build on that and in my opinion it actually makes for a, a fairly enjoyable uh uh, experience would I necessarily say that it's like I, it's, it's kind of like premium trash is how I would describe it it's it's good but I, I still think that ultimately it, it doesn't necessarily you know it, it doesn't do enough to be worth reading it doesn't there isn't enough it's phased through that wall. There isn't enough character development. The the side characters are, are fairly two dimensional. Um, there's no female characters that aren't there to just basically be like walking boob sticks. Um, like there are there are a lot of problems with it that uh, that, that that could be resolved, and uh, that would be nice to be resolved and, and be improved. But um, you know, it's it's, it's good. For for being trash, it's 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 the kind of trash you want to see, you know. This kind of trash is um, there's no you know nobody's leaving their food in it. There's no recycling. It's just uh, it's all the, the 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 trash that's supposed to be in the trash, you know. And and it's uh, it's a nice nice thing to see. For sure. So I uh, I've been enjoying it. I just finished it actually. I just finished getting caught up to uh, to where the uh, the English translation is, um, chapter eighty five. There's definitely more to go after that. That's definitely not the conclusion of the uh, of the manhwa. It's uh, that would be a major cliffhanger, bad ending kind of thing. But uh, I'm gonna see if I can maybe find the uh, the light novel and uh, and read the light novel. Get uh, get a little bit more into the uh, the universe of the descent of the demonic master. Get a little bit more into that. Uh, characters and, and all that kind of stuff that I have been enjoying so much um, yeah the, the thing is is that this is a manhwa that uh, that really benefits from having that uh, the the artwork though the the artwork it makes such a huge difference to this manhwa 
Um, I haven't read the light novel. I don't even know if there is one or like how complete it is or whatever. But uh, just just reading it, um, reading the manhwa, like it's huge importance to the uh, to the experience of reading it to, to have that artwork because it really really complements the character, and uh, they're doing a really great job of showing off the the emotions and stuff that the characters are feeling, and uh, especially like some of the uh, the the like wide uh, the spreads and stuff just just make it so 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 nice to to be reading it's very very good art in my opinion and uh, to 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 read it in like just text i don't think it would be as good of an experience so i'm not not totally sure if i'm going to read it but i'm going to see if it's there and uh, read it a little bit see if the uh, the author does it justice i'm sure he does or they do um you know, i'm sure i'm sure they do um just because uh you know, it got to the point to, to actually get an, like uh, an artist going through and and and, uh, and drawing it right. So it's got to be worth something, right? But I, I think that the artwork in this, because um, the the uh, the main character gets like mad and and has these like really uh, strong um, emotional scenes, and the uh, the artwork definitely adds a lot to those scenes. I think. It adds a lot of uh, pressure and like um, emotion to those scenes. So I, I, I definitely, it's, it's, it's a uh, yeah. I, I think that it adds a lot. So I'm not, I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna read the, um, the light novel. I'm gonna see if it's there and, and see if it does it justice or not. Probably does. I'm just, I'm not sure. I'm undecided. I got a list of other manhwa to read along a similar vein. Um, so I will see about. Uh, Reading maybe some of those instead. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated, of course. It's my it's my civic duty to the people to let them know what I'm currently doing at any moment in time. I don't do much, so I have to I have to take whatever I do do and stretch it out to 20 minutes long. It's what I do. It's what I love. what I love I read um, actually no I didn't I haven't been reading uh, manhwa lately it's it's just it's all been the the sailing research on sailing videos on sailing um, all that kind of stuff so it's been a nice uh, it's been typing as well so it's been a nice break honestly to uh, to be reading some some uh, some manhwa again and uh, and get that uh, like drawn media sort of stuff you know it's it's it's, it's a pleasant experience I like it a lot that's why I read so much of it, and uh, I, I've been putting it off and, and not doing it. Not, not, not like it's a responsibility of mine, but I just it hasn't uh, it hasn't been something that I've bothered doing lately. Um, I am definitely more like it's 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 not addiction. Um, like I said, like I just I haven't been doing it lately. Um, I can stop anytime I want. I did to 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 focus on the like learning about sailing and doing all that research so I could. Uh, prepare and 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 know what I'm doing and, and plan my for my future so you know I, I know that I can um, like give it up whenever I want so it's not like an addiction uh, at all but it does consume a lot of my time I think uh, it's not an addiction but it's probably a problematic hobby I should probably try and tone it back more but like I, I kind of have two settings with it right I either and it kind of goes for a lot of things for me I, I either get really into it and I do a lot of it um, or I, I just completely lose interest and uh, and and uh, don't do any but I, uh, I can only like turn off my interest I can't tone it down so we'll see but it's definitely uh, a problem I think so it's not like a major problem it doesn't stop me from doing anything I need to do you know it just stops me from doing things that I, I might otherwise want to do you know it kind of gets in the way of other hobbies and I don't think that's a huge problem Cause like whatever, but yo, we're gonna change the topic completely here. I've been having this urge to play Maple Story again. I don't know why. It's not a good game. Like I don't like it. But uh, I've been having this urge to like hop in and play it. I think the the main thing for me is that I want to go back to when I was like nine years old or something. And uh, oh my god, would have been like nine or something. Yeah. I was, I was just thinking about how, because uh, I was like, I don't know, 8, 9, 10-ish, somewhere, somewhere in that 
sort of range um, when I started playing MapleStory. And it was actually my friend who introduced me to it over at, at his house. Um, he lived uh, like about a 10 minute bike ride away. And um, like I would just do that by myself with without my uh, my family there and you know so I was like eight nine ten years old or whatever it's not something that you'd see very often in in the current day and age um, you know so many years later uh, you, you wouldn't really see that kind of stuff happening but yeah I was just uh, just kind of realized that because I, I can't think of like eight-year-old my mother anyway letting eight-year-old me go out into the out into the world but like I'm pretty sure she did because I think that's about when I started playing MapleStory and I was over at my friend's house I rode my bike over there by myself so anyway I've been thinking about playing MapleStory but I think what I really want to do is I want to go back to when I was younger and kind of like re-experience everything over again because the, the game as it is today I just I don't really like I was watching uh, Am I Gaming um, who like makes these highlight reels and stuff and it's, it's interesting because I don't have to put up with the uh, with the incredible amount of grind that goes into actually like making the progress that he makes but I still get to, to like enjoy the content and like I yeah okay see ya I still get to enjoy the content that he makes and uh, kind of like get my maple story experience that I, I want and keep up with sort of what's happening anyway he, he typically has a he's typically quite far behind so like whatever video comes out today is probably from like a month ago not that the other one's gonna come out today, but like it's it's typically quite a, a distance. Um, just because again, like again, it takes a lot of time to, to make all this progress. And then he also has like uh, another channel that he runs, and then he has like music, and then he has to, like edit all the videos and stuff. Like it's a lot of work, so I'm not blaming him for for being so far behind. But uh, you know, fact is he is, and so I don't get to stay up to date. I get to stay like uh, slightly out of date, um, which is fine. Um, but anyway. Um, he had, uh, he has this friend who, uh, in one of the videos I just watched, because I just binged, like, the last ten videos of his, um, but he has a friend who ended up spending, like, $1,500 American or something like that on, um, on, like, random gear upgrades, just, like, random stat changes to, to try and get, uh, like, the most minor of, uh, of improvements. And... It's crazy because it's like not even that uncommon for this friend of his to, to do that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just looking at it. I'm like, how the heck do you even afford to do that? I don't think it's irresponsible. A lot of people will be like, yo, that's irresponsible. Like, how can you, like, how can you justify spending that much money? The thing is, is they just like, like, if you're making two hundred thousand dollars a year, then spending you know ten thousand dollars a month on uh, on Maple Story still ends up leaving you with more money than the average person. Right, and that's probably like way more than most people are spending on uh, on Maple Story. Although it might not necessarily be, I don't know. Um, but it was just kind of crazy. I'm like, how do you like what What are you doing to be able to afford that, and then also be able to afford to invest so much time into Maple Story? I imagine it's got to be like just owning real estate and like renting out houses and stuff, like maybe owning a condo or something. But yeah, it's uh, I'm not gonna say it's an enviable position necessarily, but a desirable one. For sure. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.